Hi everybody, welcome back to the Retro Ghetto and today, finally, we're going to be taking a look at my Street Fighter action figure collection. Okay, so everybody that's watched the channel before will know that I'm a huge Street Fighter collector um, and a huge Street Fighter fan, even though I'm terrible at the games. Uh, I love everything about the franchise, the characters, the artwork, and I enjoy getting my ass kicked online on the games as well. So what I wanted to do was show off my, I think, quite large Street Fighter collection. Just the figures, we're not going to concentrate on the games and all the other stuff. I've put a few knickknacks and stuff behind me for you guys to see as well. But so uh, we're going to concentrate more so on the toys and the figures today and maybe some of the statues one of which you can see right next to me. That's my life-size Ryu PCS Pop Culture Shock Bust. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly through these really quickly. Um, we're going to get it done because there's a lot to go through. I've been wanting to do this episode for a long, long time. It's just logistically it's so difficult because they've all been on display in different areas of the retro ghetto. But with me moving house soon, um, it's a nice opportunity for me to get them all off the shelves, get them all together, show them you guys, get them individually packaged, get them in the box, and uh, yeah, we'll get them back out again in the new house. So... Without further ado, let's crack on. I'm going to try and do it in um, sets of manufacturers, so the different uh, companies that manufacture these figures. And we're going to start off with Big Boys Toys, which is a company out of Hong Kong. First one I want to show you is this. This is from their Bulkies line. And this, of course, is Ryu. That's the only one of their mounts I've got. And then also from Big Boys Toys, they have a range of figures which are called TNC, I believe. Um, I'd like more of these, but they're very difficult and quite expensive to get hold of here in the UK. So I've got Guile. Panic boom! I've got Ken. And I have Ryu. Okay, so now we're going to get into the actual action figures themselves. Um, so I'll start with a few of the random ones, just the odd bits and bobs that I've got that I don't have too many of in that line. Um, I've got this uh, really old Akuma figure here, Shin Akuma. I've got an SH Figuarts Rashid. I think this is the only way to get this figure. Um, it's a nice figure as well to get the focus. Uh, this one's actually more of a statue, there's no articulation. This is Chun-Li in a Street Fighter Alpha outfit. And as far as I know, this is the only way to get her in this uh, costume. Give you the money shot. We've got Sakura. Uh, this one's actually a prototype that I managed to get hold of. And I believe this is from the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite line. Uh, these next three are all NECA. I did have a full set of these once upon a time, but uh, yeah, I've just got these three now. Um, I've got this Guile with the camo pants, the SDCC exclusive Guile, and I've got Viper. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to show you my little Resaurus collection now. Resaurus was one of the first companies to put out Street Fighter figures, so these are some of the really early figures in the lines. Um, I've just got a few that are uh, some of my favourites. So this one is Alex. Really nice figure, this one. Got Kami. I always forget this is Charlie or Nash. And this one's one of my favourite figures, um, generally, really. This is the Player 2 Rosaurus. Sagat, which has actually become quite a sought after figure now, it's quite rare, difficult to get hold of. Not sure why the Player 2 version made in black, but there you go, that's Sagat. Okay, so the next uh, set that I wanted to show you is my Kid Robot collection. I um, started collecting these about a year or so ago now. I really like these, they're only very small figures, but um, yeah, it's something that I really got into, so I've got quite a lot of these now. Um, the first one is one of the larger ones, they only made a couple of the larger figures, and this is the Hot Ryu. I believe this is a five inch kid robot variant. Just quickly, got Ken, Zangief, Guile, E Honda, Ryu, E Honda, Kuma, a couple more Zangiefs, Birdie, Phelong, 
Lovely Laura, John Lee, missing an arm. Parablancas, Sagat, NYCC or SDCC exclusive Mecha Zangief. Quite a difficult one to get a hold of. Fang, Sagat, Ken, Charlie, Vega, couple Ryu's, Street Fighter 5 Ryu, Rashid, Balrog, the OG and the Street Fighter 5 Vega, Zangief, Guile, Ken, Pair of Chun Lee's, Two Doll Sims, this chap here whose name escapes me right now, and probably most sought after one is the SDCC or NYCC exclusive gold Ryu. Okay, so I just wanted to show the Ryu statue which came with the Street Fighter V Collector's Edition. Really nice statue, this one. And the iconic pose. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Storm Collectibles. Storm Collectibles are relatively new guys on the block. Um, Again, they're quite difficult to get hold of here in the UK and they can be very pricey. I would like more of my collection, but um, I sold a couple, which I now regret, but um, I've still got some of the most sought after, some of the ones that I really wanted from the collection. Um, and I've got a couple more on pre-order as well, including the E-Honda figure. But uh, yeah, these are really nice articulation and arguably, um, you know, the best and most desirable Street Fighter figures uh, on the market right now. So we'll start off with Street Fighter V Ken. Violent Ken, OG Akuma, Street Fighter 5 Akuma with the main, one of my favourites, this is the Vega. Street Fighter 5 Ryu. This was the first Storm Collectibles figure I ever bought at a Toy Fair. One of my favourites. Hot Ryu. X. And probably my personal favourite in the Storm Collectibles line. Sagat. And obviously, guys, these figures look completely different when they're all posed up. They come with loads of accessories, loads of different hands, faces, special effects, and stands which to pose them on. But just going through this quickly for you guys. Okay, so before we get to my personal favourite line, which is the Sota figures, um, I just want to quickly show you these. I'm not a Funko Pop guy. I don't collect Funko Pop vinyls. But I did invest in some of the Street Fighter ones when they first came out. So we'll quickly go through these. We have got... Hadouken Ryu, Hot Ryu, 8-Bit Ryu, a couple more Ryus, another Hot Ryu, Violent Ken, Hadouken and Basic Ken, uh, Ken even, 8-Bit Player 2 Ryu, three Blankers, everybody's favourite Dan, Kami, Akuma, Balrog and a couple chun -Li's. Okay, so finally we've got my favourite line. It's not just my favourite Street Fighter line, it's probably my favourite toy line to collect in general. And that is the Sota Toys Street Fighter figures. Absolutely love collecting for these. There's so many. A lot of these have become very hard to find as they're no longer in, being made. Um, but yeah, I've had great fun collecting these and I've still got uh, a lot more to add to the set. So should I start by showing you the larger scale ones. I made a couple of 10 inch figures. And that is Player 1 and Player 2. Sagat. So that's one of my favourite Street Fighter characters. I just love the design, love the artwork. And these are really great figures to have. Very imposing. That's the two 10-inch Sagat figures. I've got Adon. Adon again. Blanca. Ken. In my favourite Ken outfit, the yellow gi. Street Fighter Alpha Cut. Guile. Complete with comb. Birdie. Such a difficult figure to stand. I mean, look at them legs. The thing about these Sota toys is, um, you know, a lot of them are very brittle now. A lot of them break, they bend, they snap as soon as you get them out of the box. Um, it's just 
you know, it is what it is. See, a lot of them you have to sort of repair yourself along the way. Um, and, you know, just find ways to pose them all. Dull sim. Love the detail on the uh, chain of skulls on this one. Sakula. Ryu. Are you a Ryu or a Ryu? As a kid, I was Ryu. Over time, I've become Ryu. Balrog. Goku. Great figure, this one. One of my favourites. Evil Ryu. Fei Long. Very hard figure to come by. That's Mecha Zangief. Great figure, this one. Kami. Not been too kind to run the back, have they? Chun Li. Armika. T Hawk. Green variant. Quite rare, this one. It's a great figure, these T Hawk sofa figures. Lots of detail. I'd probably say these are probably the closest um, to the Storm collectibles line in terms of the detail. And the OG blue. T Hawk as well. Another one that's become quite valuable and quite hard to source is E Honda. Again, Jen, however you want to say it. Vega. Everybody's favourite and a very sought after figure. Sagat. Blue variant of Dal Sim. Pink Kami, Remy, Shinakuma, completely forgotten this guy's name, I'll put it up on the bottom, it's one of my favourites, love this figure, great detail, and Bison, another very rare one is this variant of M. Bison as well. Like a clear plastic, really nice one this. And then lastly, as I've still yet to unbox, I've got the twin pack of the green Zangief and the pink Armika. It's a very difficult one to find as well, this one. Okay, so I think that's all of them. I'll probably find a couple more dotted around the retro ghetto as I start packing up more and more. But uh, if you stuck around this long, I really appreciate it. This is something I've been wanting to share with you guys for quite a while. But as you can imagine, getting all these figures off the shelves and then what I would have done was had to put them all back later on. Uh, it would have been a nightmare. So yeah, with me packing up and getting ready to move to a new house, uh, this was the best time to get this done. Um, stay tuned. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, part of loads of different content. Um, Pickups, we do different tours, we go on hunts and we do whatever we can do um, to get great content out to you guys. As I say, I'm moving to a new place, so I'm going to document and do a mini-series of basically building a new man cave from the ground up. We're going to have extensions, we're going to have all sorts going on um, in converting a room to what I think will be the dream man cave and the dream games room. So yeah, please stick around for that. Thanks again to everybody that's watched this far. I really appreciate it. hope you enjoyed this bonus episode. Regular content will be out on Wednesday as usual. As always, play your games, keep it retro. See you on the next one. Retro Ghetto. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!